So, how long have you been at the company, Ryan? Seven years. Literally, no one cares about your diet. That's true. I love that. <laughs> hey, so you're about to uh, you volunteer to do the one chip challenge. Volunteer. You did I say was not forced. you did what say else do I need to read? no, but you did say <laughs> hot. Nothing is ever too hot for you. You are the hot sauce king. Yes, you did tell I, me. I would I would claim that against anybody. So you think yeah. you are the hot sauce king? Yes. Can you just say that? Okay. I just, I just want to check out that on camera because we're gonna put on gloves. Trust me. <laughs> Ryan from day one always used to eat hot wings. By the way, they sold out of these in like one day. Seventy-five dollars now, so be careful. All right. <laughs> So any, any words you want to say before you start? Uh, is everyone just going to stare at me while I do this? In the beginning, early days, it was very clear on if we're building the best team or not. It was myself, it was DJ, go back to the early days, Mark, John, Ryan, Ty. We were grinders. I mean, we, we, we hustled. I mean, we were working 10 plus hour days on weekends. I mean, at that point, at that stage, it was the best team. Oh, 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 <laughs> all right, so, all right. On a scale of one to 10, how hot right now? Whoa! Is it now a six? <laughs> working with Tyler over these years has been really helpful. I've grown and he would tell you this too, as a person, crazy velocity as far as my growth as a, starting out someone who's really shy and then becoming someone who could sit here on camera. As you guys know, we're hiring a lot for product and dev, so um, if you know any good people or for any of the other roles, uh, we love our hairdressers. So if you hear that, you gotta keep that money. If you're looking for a good mentorship, I would say uh, your vibe definitely attracts your tribe. He is the most like competitive person that I've ever met, and um, so I feel like I just am striving to be better and a better version of myself every single day when I come into this office. If you're trying to become a better person overall with a mentor, at least that's my objective, right? And it's not always just the professional side of stuff, it's the life side of stuff too. You know, we're fast growing, we're not some big corporate conglomerate. We, we gotta move fast and we can't have to slow us down at the scale that we are at and where we're going. It's so important to have great leadership. I've had to take a seat back as we've grown. How do I mentor, coach, develop our leaders? I think about you know growing up in life and all the mentors that, that helped me get to you know, where I'm at, where I am today. And so I think it's important to connect with them. I think it's important to write notes. Koji came to us and said, I want to, you know, get leadership coaching and, and, and courses and classes and, and have somebody on site that can help with this, who's done it. We found someone who has experience with startups, experience with CEOs and COOs and founders like DJ and myself. Um, on that offsite, we learned about a lot of different things, communication, how to be above the line and opposed to below the line. When people are above the line, they believe that learning and growing are more important than being right. How to be open and curious opposed to defensive and, and shut off. How to listen to folks better. Sometimes people just want to be heard and that is the story I'm telling. It is my story. Well, I don't need the power of holding the book, but... Simple yet super effective leadership hacks have been huge. I want to know who people are and, and invest into them and so that's why we do these, you see these one-on-ones I do, it's because it's important for me to be. Guilty forever. pleasure is watching 80 actions movie and eating a bag of marshmallows. What? Yes. We gotta get them marshmallows. You are a brand new fresh set of eyes. You should right. use it to your band to like challenge things. Uh, this Wednesday we had an agent feedback event. We had about 40 agents here. I think we do want to do this a lot more often too, and getting more clients in here so we can, we can get um, more feedback more often. Obviously this guy still wants to be a household name in that department, so working with them to kind of do like promotions, uh, maybe close events with them. We're gonna have five new hires start within the next two weeks, so we're super excited to grow our team and you know have them help out. Uh, as of this week, support and this is really a testament to how hard we work to get shit done. We hit our millionth ticket in Sendex. Woo! Yeah.
I think as a company, we play offense. We're always on the offensive side. And, 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 and we do well at that. But as a leader, internally, under the umbrella, inside of the walls of Skyslip here at our headquarters, I play defense. And, and I remove the, what I call the PB and J, you know, the processes, the bureaucracies, and the jams. Because my goal is if I play good defense for them in these walls, they have a clear path to go down and score a touchdown. And scoring a touchdown for the leader here is having a, a, a highly productive team, a team that's happy, that loves what we're building and the culture that we provide here. And it's just like when I was in real estate, you know, the first thing my coach told me was like, you gotta do everything to get that listing appointment. And once you get the listing appointment, that's just one section you own. Now, you gotta think, you have to have every tool in your toolbox to get the listing signed. So it's like, how do we get new recruits where they walk through this and they feel like, I gotta work here. We're selling the dream, right? What's the story that we tell?